take a trail take two so we're at the other well we're kind of in the middle of the trail today um, we've come to the uh, Rumataka incline to do part of the old um, railway track um, involving some tunnels and quite the climb by the looks of it beautiful day for it so very much looking forward to giving this a, a test run so the original Rumataka Railway was built um, in 1871. There's a tunnel put through the range was preferred but it actually proved to be too costly. So the solution was to build a railway over the Rumataka range. And they actually continued to use this railway line for another 77 years. section of the main railway line in, through the Rumataka Tunnel was opened um, as late as 1955. So we believe that this is where they used to um, maintain the brakes on the fell locomotives because by the time they reversed back down the incline the brakes were so hot they used to have to bring them in here to try and cool them down. So this is the remains of the, um, you can just see the outline there, of the old turntable. Now the steam locomotives used to only come up here as far as Cross Creek and then the fell locomotives used to have to take over because the incline was too, sli too steep for the steam locomotives. The fell locomotives would have an extra set of wheels. Or oh, as you can hear it's a little bit windy today where we are. And so the extra set of wheels used to help them get up the steep incline which is what we're going to cycle up shortly. And there were, um, I think there were either five or six fell locomotives. And that's fell as an F-E-L-L. -L. So here at the Cross Creek uh, Railway Station, it used to be quite a, a bustling railway village. And it even had a school, a social hall, a library, and a makeshift swimming pool. And this settlement was built for the Rimataka Incline Railway workers and their families. And there's a remnant of a tennis court did we see that on our way in? Yeah, Apparently it was on our way in. Oh yes, down the bottom. Down the bottom. Just I'll down, have a look when we go back. Just down there to the left you could see it. I was wondering what it was. I thought it was the foundations to buildings. Ah, it was the remnants of a swimming pool. Hey. So it's five kilometres to the summit. So I often wondered how the, um, the engines would go up such a steep incline. But mm, special engines, foul engines. So I found out. Noted. Everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. So we've been climbing for quite a while, stopped at a lookout and there's where we've come from, there's the trail there, yeah winding its way and that was that first tunnel down there that you can see that we went through. Certainly steep in places, horseshoe bend, definitely had to dismount. 
And I think we're going to have to dismount going back up it as well on the other side that we came down. It's quite shingly, eh? We've made it to the summit. Wasn't too arduous, was it? No, we are 1141 feet. Oh, where's my light? 1141 feet above sea level at the summit. Ta da! I don't know where all these people came from. We certainly didn't see them. They've obviously come from the other end. 